What's going on, everybody? Not to love XOX here, and I uh, wanted to make a little video today to um, talk about. Well, not really talk about um, it in in and of itself, but I want to talk about why pacifism, in terms of conflict, is a much better alternative to fighting back over something um, now this uh, this is a issue that uh, I've, I've, I've argued with my friends about I've argued with other people about um, and what most people do if people get into either any any kind of conflict whether it be a conflict between two people whether it be a conflict between people in fucking global or on xbox or in the real world or if there's fucking um you know wars and crap um the, the, the first uh notion is to f defend your position defend yourself defend your side to change the other side to your way of thinking or to um yeah, to your way of thinking is really all I need to say at that point. But um, the problem with that is there's no way if you've ever been in a situation ever, there's no way you could change someone else to your way of thinking. It just it doesn't happen that way. Um, you you cannot force anyone to change their way of thinking by means of Applicate app, application of force or of arguments or by any type of that kind of thing. Um, it just it doesn't work. You can't do that. Um, and if if someone is in dispute and they're like the only way to solve this is to fight back. Um, to try to change the other side or to try to help my side or to try to fix something then you're never gonna go anywhere it's 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 like it's like trying to it's like trying to fix a, a it's trying to fix something that isn't broken um, it never will work um, and if if you just don't fight back against things and force things they will fix themselves um, patience and time are the best weapons that anyone has um, in any situation ever um, and it's 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 pretty you could you could take this and apply it to anything and everything Although don't don't get me wrong, I, I do believe that there is a certain level that um, you need to defend yourself. Like if if someone is attacking my wife physically, or if someone is attacking me physically or emotionally, I I won't necessarily. There's just the emotional and physical. Like if someone's attacking me and my wife, my wife, my wife and emotionally, um, I will tell them. Stop doing that. You're really mean, etc., etc. If they don't stop doing that, then I will just simply, you know, not deal with them anymore. I won't attack them and tell them that they're idiots and that they're wrong. And try to make them understand me and change their ways. Um, I'm just gonna be like, you know what? You're not, you're not gonna fucking be nice to me. Well, then I just won't talk to you anymore. Um, but if someone's hurting me physically, or hurting my wife physically, or hurting someone I care about physically, then I will definitely use violence or something to defend myself. Don't think I'm a complete pacifist. Um, I'll defend myself, but in, in defending yourself, don't hurt someone else who's not... He's either not trying to hurt you, or don't make the situation worse than it needs to be. Because um, a lot of people... What a lot of people do is they make the situation worse than it needs to be by responding. And the people that respond are usually the ones that get in trouble, and they're usually the ones that get blamed for stuff, and they're usually the ones that get a bunch of crap. 
So, I challenge anyone watching the video today, um, not necessarily become like this ultimate pacifist Gandhi guy who doesn't fight like I am, um, but just think before you say things. Is this going to help the situation as a whole, or is this going to make the situation worse as a whole? Um, and, I mean, I, you, you could apply this to, you know, any, uh, you could apply this to government shit and be like, is this war going to benefit the world as a whole, or is it going to not benefit the world as a whole? Um, if you look back statistically, wars have not benefited the world as a whole. Um, Second World War did not benefit the world as a whole. The First World War did not benefit the world as a whole. The Vietnam War did not benefit the world as a whole. I, I I truly cannot think of any conflict that has benefited the world as a whole. Or now you'll probably argue with me and say that the American Revolution benefited the world as a whole. I would disagree with you wholeheartedly and would love to have a conversation with you about that. Um, but to be honest, I really can't think of any conflict in human history that has ever benefited the world as a whole and created a better world out of the conflict that preceded it. Um, which is why it's better to just let things go and not fight back and be a pacifist like me. Because it's awesome to not have to deal with bullshit. Um... Oh, well, you gotta deal with bullshit, but, you know, never mind. Um, <laughs> anywho, I, um, I think I'm gonna end my commentary there, because that's really all I have to talk about, to be honest with you. But, uh, enjoy the flawless gameplay I have going for you here. Um, this is a good gameplay, actually. Um, and, uh, I'm gonna go get my Xbox One, because, uh, it is currently November the 21st at 3.45 in the afternoon. I'm going to go... Um, I'll do an unboxing video. And I will do a first impressions video as well. Um, but uh, it's like 3 in the afternoon right now. And I'm going to go to Best Buy. I'm going to go to lunch. I'm going to go to Best Buy. And then I'm going to sit outside Best Buy for the next what nine hours it is 14 degrees outside at right now so that'll go really well anyway <laughs> i got off topic i'm gonna go in the video because gameplay is ending so uh hope you all enjoyed please be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe and um i will uh see you guys later thank you all very much for watching farewell